Hattie and I am back with part 11 of the pomegranates. So in this part I wanted everybody to go and explore the Rainforest Cafe which is a venue that I made in a speed build form so if you haven't seen it yet it was the video that I put out before this video and that is what I think that the family are going to do today. But in the house at the moment let's see so it's 12 50 a.m and I think everybody does have class and work in a few hours well not that long anyway and I think because Jane and Jessica possibly aren't tired Jessica's not actually that tired maybe she would do something by herself then so let's see who's out in the town at the moment it looks like everybody's coming back from a party or something I mean she's all dressed up it's really strange that she doesn't like Gina because Jane loves Gina she thinks she's fantastic and let's see who else is around. So Braxton Spears, but Jessica really doesn't like Braxton Spears. It's pointless for sleeping, so she's not gonna do that. Oh, he's gone. No, I hate when that happens. I hate when time fast forwards itself so much that you can't even find the people that were originally there. Oh, that's so annoying. But yeah, okay, so there's nobody here, I don't think. Anyway, I have had a little look around, but doesn't seem to be anybody out, so maybe it would just make sense for Jessica to go sleep until we actually spot somebody. So she's going to go up to her new room, which is this room in here, and we are going to claim the bed. Okay, she's already claimed the bed, which is brilliant. And let's see what else. So she's sleeping in that bed. These are in this bed. It's just so cute, though, how it all happens. I just love it so much. I love this family. So yeah, then we're going to fast forward time, probably, because everybody is going to be sleeping then especially because hardly anybody's out at 5am or 6am or 7am. I don't really blame them. I don't go out very much at that time either. I used to have to get really early for school, but I stopped doing that, of course, when I left school. Then I didn't have to get up that early. When I went to college, I only had to get up probably about 9 or 10am, or at least be there for I was up before that. But yeah, that was the time I had to get there for. So let's see. What does she have to do? She has class in two hours. Maybe that's enough time to do her homework if I can remember where she put it. I think it's over here. Yeah, it's actually over here in this room with Jane. So they have their homeworks next to each other just being put away. This is disgusting. Why has that happened? I think I'm going to put it on the table for the maid to hopefully come and clean away because the maid does come and that is something that has happened in the last few parts, I think. I don't know, the maid's just been coming a lot more recently. I do also have some pictures of the family here. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any of Scarlet. I think I explained that last part though, but I'm not sure. But for some reason, I couldn't get a photo of Scarlet on the pictures, which was so sad. But yeah, so there are some pictures of Jane and Dylan who are trying to bond at the moment. Dylan is trying to make a humongous effort with the girls. And that is something that he's really, really interested in doing. Even though he is a committed phobe, he is committed to Pilar slightly. He does want to be a boyfriend, but he just doesn't want the title. That's just his personality. And that's something that I did talk about in the last part, whether they should be girlfriend and boyfriend. But I think I've decided against it. I think that it's better if they are exactly the way that they are at the moment, maybe just without the title. And in the future, then they will. So it's a little bit better for people to clear things up between them. I didn't realise how much Jessica Mortray needs to do now. So before school, she is going to use the bathroom, have a shower or repair. Why does everything break in this house? Every single time I repair something, it just breaks again. And it's really odd because it's the best they can get as well. You can't get another shower better than this. I think I'm actually gonna get Dylan to go round and upgrade everything so it's unbreakable. Not that it is that much of a pain, but it's just so unrealistic how it breaks so oftenly. Okay, so she is going to have a shower, so she's having that now. And Jane does need to eat something. So I'm probably going to get Pilar downstairs now that she is feeling quite refreshed from all that sleep. And I want her to serve, let's see, probably some omelettes. I don't know, it's quite a healthy breakfast, I think. And what else can she serve? French toast, mix it up a bit, have a few options going on there. Dylan is always feeling flirty as well, which is really odd. And Scarlett's just gone to school. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so she's probably going to study hard. Actually, no, I want Scarlett to make some friends. She studies hard enough. A B is actually very, very good. And I said that in the last part, but I think a B means something different everywhere. And for me, a B was very, very good, 
at school and that's because I did O levels instead of GCSEs. In fact, it was an IGCSE I did, so it's an international GCSE. So B is a really good grade for that. But I don't know, it can mean something different everywhere and it depends what country it's modeled off. I think it's modeled off America, but I don't know how American grades work. So yeah, that's that. Jessica Mortray has gone to school, which is a shame because she hasn't eaten, but she's feeling flirty as always. <laughs> she always feels flirty. And Jane probably needs, what does she need? Oh, she needs, she needs romance. She needs romance in her life and she hasn't had any. I think what I will do is when they're actually back from school, I really want Tommy to ask Jane to be his girlfriend. And I think that he would now, especially as it has been so long and they definitely know each other by now. Bathroom cash. While taking a break, Jane spies some money just sitting in a sink in the bathroom. Should she slide it in her locker for safekeeping or turn it into the principal right away? She would turn it in. Jessica wouldn't though, but she would. <laughs> Performance gains some more. That's nice. She got something from that. We never get things from that, so that's pretty good that she did. Okay, so Tommy Davoli. We're going to meet him after school. And in the meantime, I want Dylan to... Oh gosh, time's going so quickly. Okay, Dylan, I want him to probably play some games. Play Hillock, whatever that is. And I also want Pilar to be able to... Oh, complete her stuff. Okay, she's completed all her daily tasks. And now she can go to work and work hard. I actually want her to get a promotion so that she can move to her new home, which I am making... A lot of you have asked if there will be a new pomegranate house. Yes, there will. In fact, I'm working on it at the moment. I just thought that doing a little bit of a reno in between stages of it would just be the best thing to do, especially to make it a little bit different. But I think that Dylan, it would make sense if they all moved into his house. So I'm actually building Dylan a house and it will be his home, which they will be all moving into. And I haven't thought the reason yet. I don't know why they would move there, but if you've got any reasons as to why the pomegranates would move there in the first place, let me know. But yeah, so that's what's happening. And hopefully that will be coming up. I'm going to say for about part 14 or 15. I'm sort of scheduling that for maybe actually before then. I don't know. But yeah, so anyway, Pilar is now at work. I want her to work really, really hard. Whilst Dylan has done most of his video game practice, Scarlett met Jordan at school. Hang on, how did she meet Jordan? He's so much older. Congratulations on your recent birthday from your twin. Thank you. Thank you, Caden Valentine. So Scarlett's apparently met Jordan. Jordan, that's really odd. How has she met him at school? That's so strange. Um, maybe it's because the schools are merged. I never knew that. I never, ever knew that. It's really cute that her best friend is uni, but I do want her to become close friends with Max. That's why when we do go to Rainforest Cafe in a little bit, I am actually going to get Scarlett to invite Max there. She met Brittany. Why is she meeting all teenagers? Okay, probably it's best if she just works hard. Actually, no, she's going to work normally because I think she did her homework. As far as I'm aware, I know she didn't do homework. Oh well though, she's going up and she's almost an A. But school's nearly over and I think in the meantime it's just so much better if Dylan does some work at home. He wouldn't really be interested in going out at the moment. I think it would be quite nice if we did go out with Dylan by himself at some point. But I don't want him to really go out and be unfaithful to Pilar because I don't think that he would be feeling like that at the moment. In fact, it would be really the opposite. Even though he is a committophobe, he would want to be slightly committed to Pilar just without a title. Should Jane invite over classmate Amy? Yes, she should actually. And I think what I will do as well is, hi, welcome to Fakes Jane. Try start the gathering from the club panel in the lower right. Yeah, we've already had a club gathering, Tasman. Thanks anyway, though. Right, so maybe they could have a club gathering. Oh, it's got to be at the Norhall Arms. Okay. Well, I think, I think it'd be quite nice if these two, oh, she's bored. She's really, really bored. Okay, I wanted to invite her in. So Amy's gonna come in, probably call her over. Jessica's got, okay, they've both got C's. I don't think that's quite bad, actually. I think that's pretty average and I'm okay with that at the moment. But we'll see, they don't put that much effort into school and that's just because that's what they're like when they're older. Scarlett is the one that is really, really hoping to be able to be the high achiever. But I think that Jessica will probably feel a little bit awkward. She's not kind to fakes at all really and in fact she can be quite mean to them but she does absolutely adore Jane that is just because they are really good friends together 
and she does feel a little bit at the moment like Jane has been very distant because of her time with the fakes and that's probably why she did do that horrible thing and she sent Tommy a flirtatious text. But yeah, so Jane doesn't know anything about that and in fact she is going to go straight to the Rainforest Cafe. I think that in between traveling to the Rainforest Cafe though, she would probably say to Jessica Mortray that she has to stay behind because she was feeling incredibly, incredibly angry after unpleasant conversations. Yeah, so she would. She would say that and that would be her excuse of leaving Jessica out, which wouldn't be the friendliest thing to do, but I don't think that Tasman would want her there, especially after they did have a little bit of an argument at the bluffs. So Jessica would stay behind, so Courtney would be invited. I also want Jane to bring Scarlett along because it is supposed to be a children's cafe. And I think that with that, Scarlett would want Max to go, even though Jane doesn't particularly like Max. And uh, let's see what else. We can invite Tommy. I think Joel would go. Amy Caballero would go. And Tasman Kingsley would go. Toby Anderson would go as well, but we can't actually invite him there, which is such a shame. Okay, yeah, I think we've got the right amount of Sims that I want to go to the Rainforest Cafe. So we are at the Rainforest Cafe, and this is how it looks from the outside. So I think that everybody is more or less gathering here. I don't know where Jane is, but I want her to come back here. And I also want Scarlett to really talk to Max and try and become friends with him. Because even if they were just friends, that would be amazing. I would love them to grow up together being friends. I just think that would be a really, really cute thing, especially as they are complete opposites. So yeah, I'd love them to get on, but I think it's going to be a tough friendship because they don't get on naturally. They don't have a lot of things in common, I don't think anyway. So... I don't know how that's going to go. But yeah, so maybe they just talk about toys, things like that. And Jane, I really want her to probably go and talk to Tommy inside. They haven't seen each other in a while. And I actually really want those to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Pilar is also right next to them. And she's met somebody new called Lean Bancroft. He seems quite nice. He's actually a police officer, I think. They look really, really sweet in their uniforms. I don't know, they just look really cute. But yeah, so I think that she would want to talk to him, probably being an officer. I would like her to meet new friends. I decided that it would be a nice idea if Jane attempted to ask Tommy to be her boyfriend. And the reason why I want her to do that is because I feel like it's been going on for such a long time now. I'm going to actually get Pilar to go home, so Pilar's not going to be anywhere to be seen. And it looks like they are boyfriend and girlfriend. So that's really sweet. Their friendship is extremely, extremely high. And I think that's so incredibly cute. But yeah, so they are. They are now lovebirds officially, aren't they? Lovebirds, lovers and boyfriend. I also just found out where Scarlett was. So whilst Tommy has now gone home and they are now boyfriend and girlfriend together, Jane and Tommy, Scarlett is over here talking to Courtney, which is a little bit unusual. But I think, I think she's going to have another go at trying to become friends with Max. So it's been going on for a while and I really, really do hope that this, this time they will be able to. I also think that as soon as she does become friends with Max, I want Scarlett to then have a little bit of a catty side. Which will mean that what I think that she might do is she might actually try to overthrow the club leader. But I'm trying to get him here as long as possible. They have just became friends, which is extraordinarily cute, which I wanted all along. And now I think Scarlett is going to ask about the club. Maybe she would complain about the leader. He's not really giving us a lot of information and I'm going to see what else we could potentially do here. So if he was to gossip about the club leader, Elsa, that would be amazing. It's also getting really, really late. So I want to be able to get Scarlett back for school tomorrow. Resign from club, no. Talk about, talk about League of Adventurers. Praise leader. I don't want her to praise the leader. I think what I'll do in the next part is I'm going to get Scarlett to go on a mission to overthrow the leader of the other club. So Elsa, the Jergsten, watch out because Scarlett is going to overthrow you. But yeah, that's what we're going to do in the next part. So I think that would be a really good decision and it would be nice for Scarlett to potentially have her own group that she can really decide what happens there. I would also like her to become friends with Elsa, as strange as that sounds, but it's not a catty move on Scarlett's part. 
It's just that she wants a little bit more control over the situation and she is a very independent character. And maybe she is sort of coming out of her shell. I don't know. But anyway, that is the end of part 11. So I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you all part 12. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you all soon.